Michael Young here. I'm one of the Transform Trainers and Assessors. Uh, one of the common questions we often get asked when people start is, what do I do? Where do I start? How do I get going? And so what I thought I'd do is just record this quick video and introduce you to the RPL kit and explain what it actually means. So when you uh, enroll, you would have received an email from student admin uh, containing this RPL kit, which is attached. Uh, it's version 5.1, February 2016. Uh, when you actually sort of scroll through it and have a look, what you'll find is that obviously we've got a range of uh, things you'd expect to see. A little bit of information about you know what is RPL, why you do it, how it works, some of that basic language. Uh, it will also describe what the process is you follow, um, requirements to complete a, a cover sheet and some background information, and then where the bulk of the work starts is on page 12 here. Okay, and so here's an example uh, just of the first unit, and uh, what's required here is for you to identify and list down some evidence uh, in relation to these items. So for example, you uh, type in here, you know, risk management plan as an example. Um, and what I'd expect to see is um, not in your risk management plan, something that covers this type of content. Okay, so when I go to assess the documents, what I'm looking for is that. Um, in essence, I use it like a checklist to see what's actually uh, uh, listed within the document. Uh, you can put some comments in here, um, detail a little bit about you know what it was, why it was, how it was, and so on. Okay, and so on and so forth through each of those uh, particular items. What you'll notice is that there's a section which is mandatory, and so for that section, each one of these um, items here needs to be completed. And as you sc scroll down, you'll also notice there's some supporting documentation as well, and so. What we'd look to see here, for example, is any certificates or qualifications, you know, um, uh, could be performance reviews, um, uh, that type of information, uh, and so on. Uh, the self-assessment, um, prior to enrolment, you would have actually completed a transformed self-assessment, so just note this down in that particular section. Okay, and there's a spot at the bottom to list anything else that you haven't already identified. Okay. And so what I do is when I uh, get this table back from you uh, and the actual documentation that you've identified um, as a portfolio, I go through and check that and then I'm looking to see whether it's satisfactory um, or not uh, in relation to those items just there. Okay. So what you'll notice is that there's actually quite a substantial uh, table there. It starts on page 12. And when you look at all of the electives, both in Group A and Group B, um, the table itself goes to about 80 odd pages. Now, this might seem like a lot, don't worry, don't stress. Um, you need to complete every single item um, that's mandatory in the core units, which is this group here. You need to complete a minimum of three units from Group A and a maximum of three units from group B with at least six units being covered. The second part of the RPL process is a interview. Now the interview is going to be around about 90 minutes to two hours based on experience and what we basically do is uh, we catch up either on the phone via Skype uh, or something similar and I go through the process of um, basically asking you about uh, the type of work you do, how you undertake that as assessments, um, that type of thing. And what I'm looking to do is to go through uh, like this pre-filled example and to cover off uh, this type of underpinning knowledge. And so as we go through that conversation, I'll be asking these types of questions. Okay. And if you provide a, a suitable satisfactory result, then obviously I uh, provide a tick just here. Okay. And so as you can see, when we sort of scroll through, there's quite a bit uh, quite a bit to cover off. And certainly, as I say, it's not a, you know, um, the format's not a, uh, you know, Spanish Inquisition where, where I sit there and I throw 50 questions at you. Um, it's it's a, a lot more casual, uh, more like a conversation. And so as you go through it, 
you can um, you know tell me all about what you do and why you do it and I'll ask questions as we go okay and once we've completed that um, the interview process um, so provided you've um, covered off all the, all the questions and answered them satisfactorily and done the, the, um, the portfolio um, the final section is the provision of a third party report okay this is a report uh, that's completed a tick box style thing uh, signed off by a colleague or a supervisor or someone seeing you perform the actual work itself